On May 14, scientists aboard the research vessel Kaimei lowered a long thin drill, called a giant piston corer nearly 5 miles, that is, 8,000 meters, through the Pacific Ocean, waiting 2 hours and 40 minutes until the drill finally reached the bottom of the Japan Trench. There, the team extracted a 120-foot-long, that is, 37 meters, sediment core from the bottom of the sea, before slowly hauling the corer up again. The drill site is located very close to the epicenter of the magnitude 9.1 Tohoku Oki earthquake, which battered the region in 2011 and produced a gargantuan tsunami that smashed into the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, triggering a devastating meltdown. By studying sediment from this area, the researchers hope to learn more about the trench's ancient earthquake history. This deep drilling operation blows the previous ocean drilling record holder out of the water. For nearly 50 years, that record has belonged to the research vessel Glomar Challenger, which sunk a drill into the Mariana Trench in 1978. That operation recovered a sediment core from about 4.3 miles, that is, 7,000 meters, below the surface, or about 1,000 meters, closer to fresh air, than the recent RV Kaimei expedition. As for the deepest hole ever dug, on land, or sea. That title goes to the Kola Superdeep Borehole, created by Russian scientists, in the country's far northern Kola Peninsula, in 1989. Drilling for the project began in 1970, nearly two decades later, the hole reached a maximum depth of 7.6 miles, that is, 12,200 meters, below the surface. The Kola project turned up many geological samples from the continental crust, but, sadly, no buried treasure. But in the end, no big loss. The main sticking point is that, there are three main candidate sites. One of those is off Costa Rica, one off Baja and Hawaii. Each of the sites involves a compromise between the depth of the ocean, distance from the drilling site and the need for a base on the shore that can support a billion dollar, 24 hours a day operation at sea. The infrastructure can be built up, but that takes time and money. These expeditions are extremely expensive and therefore they are difficult to repeat.